I want to show you one of the ways that I build my navigational menus within Bubble because it's a really easy and dynamic way to control your user role's permissions without changing anything big. So let's get into it. So I have a navigation panel on the left side and most Bubble builders might just have a group and within a group and that might be fine. But what I prefer to do is have a repeating group here and the repeating group is using the current user's pages. Now, what does that mean? Well, I have an option set here and that option set has a list of navigational options. So these are all navigational options, all right? And when a user signs up, we add the pages that they have access to from those option sets. So this way, if we have a user role for a customer, they have access to certain pages. And if we have a user role for a different persona, they have access to other pages. And dynamically, when these users sign up, we add these pages to their list of pages. So that way, in the menu section, all of these options are dynamic. And if we have certain permissions where maybe there's a page such as an analytics page that you don't want certain user roles to have, you can easily remove that page from their list of pages so a user with a lower level permission can access higher level permission pages. So by using repeating groups with a list of option sets, adding that option set to your current user, and then using the source for your current user's pages to fulfill your navigation repeating group, it's a great way to make your navigation dynamic and to make it easily respect your user role permissions to control all your permissions site-wide. So it's a mouthful. And if you have any questions, comment in the video below. But this is the way that I love building my navigations and hopefully it can help you too. For more bubble tips, please follow me.